My name is Mark Conti. I'm the sales director for paving equipment for Allen Engineering. I'm going to talk a little bit about our line of triple roller tube pavers. To my right is the 150B. This unit is the smallest of our three units. We also offer a 255. It comes with a tier four diesel engine, 49 horsepower HOTS diesel. We also offer a larger unit, which is the 275. That comes with gang vibration and has a 74 horsepower HOTS diesel. The minimum paving width for all three units is 12 feet. The maximum width for this unit here is 30 feet. For the 255 and the 275, the max width is 32 feet. These units are used for airport and roadway projects internationally. Each triple roller tube paver comes with a leading tube that strikes off the surface to grade and then the travel tubes that follow it. The travel tubes have what are called a wiper blade to keep the material off of each tube. Each unit comes equipped with a spray bar system to clean your leading tube. It has a 50 gallon water tank. You have a series of spray tips that aim to the leading tube to keep it clean during the paving procedure. Each machine is made up of segments so you can add or subtract the width. When you reduce the size of your triple roller tube paver, you also need to reduce the size of your roller tube. This unit to my right is a 28 feet. That means it comes with a six, a six, a four, a six, and a six. The roller tubes are the same width as the segments of the frames. This unit is a 28 foot unit, which means it can pave a paving width of 26 foot. Generally, you have one foot hanging over on each side for your pour sequence. This unit will ride on steel form and they are designed and engineered to support the weight of each roller tube finisher. This is the operating console for the 150B. This is the control valve lever for the leading tube, which is gonna screed your surface to grade. This is gonna operate in a clockwise manner. This is the lever for a steering leg. The steering leg is below the machine and what it allows you to do is raise up one end of the machine to square the machine. This is the forward travel control valve lever. So this allows you to move the machine forward or reverse. Typically during a paving application, you will advance forward, you will take the machine back, you will screed a second time, and then there may be an opportunity or a time that you will need to pave a third or fourth time depending on the uh, porosity of your material, the size of the aggregate, the slump that you have. Typically, your slumps are gonna range anywhere from two to four inches. When you have the 275 with the gang vibration, typically those applications, your slump could be anywhere from a one to three inch. This is your throttle control. The unit is powered by a 38 horsepower Kohler gas engine. This is the control valve for the water pump, so it allows you to use the spray bar system to clean your leading tube. We also have a hose, so you're able to clean up the unit at the end of the pour. This control stand allows you to raise that up and you can walk and control the machine as it's advancing and you can move back and forth. One of the options that's offered on the 150B and the 255 is a front and rear access platform. If a platform is needed, then a counterbalance tube would also be used. On the 275 with the gang vibration, there is a safety access platform that is standard on all units. Each Allen triple roller tube paver comes with a limited two year warranty. If you have any paving needs, please contact me. My name is Mark Conti. I'm the sales director for paving equipment for Allen Engineering. My number is 216-469-0005.